Realme, a prominent Chinese sub-brand known for producing affordable mid-range smartphones, has introduced its latest offering, the Realme 11 Pro Plus. This sleek and visually appealing phone comes equipped with a remarkable 200 megapixels main camera, a feature that sets it apart in the crowded mid-range phone market. One notable aspect of the Realme 11 Pro Plus is its advanced camera technology, which reportedly benefits from Samsung's optimization specifically tailored for this device. This optimization ensures that the 200 megapixels camera performs exceptionally well, especially when it comes to zoom capabilities. The phone incorporates clever and in sensor cropping techniques that allow for near lossless quality when capturing 2x and 4x zoom photos. While the Realme 11 Pro Plus was initially launched in China, the company has plans for an international launch in India on June 8. Interestingly, Realme hosted a small media event in New York, primarily for American journalists, to showcase the international version of the phone. It's worth noting that despite the media attention, the Realme 11 Pro Plus is not available for purchase in North America, which makes the decision to provide American media with such exclusive access somewhat unusual. Realme asked the American reporters to abide by some incredibly absurd embargo conditions, because the worldwide launch hasn't yet occurred. I am permitted to show the phone, talk about the main camera, and even give photo samples, but I can't divulge other specifications like the processor, battery size, or pricing. The specs and price are freely available for everyone to search for because the phone has already been released in China. However, I'll heed Realme's demands and limit this article's discussion to the primary camera and fundamental appearance. As another typical Chinese Android slab, the Realme 11 Pro Plus has a curved 120Hz OLED display with slim bezels and a small hole punch for the selfie camera. From the front, the phone resembles dozens of other models that Realme and its BKK siblings, including OnePlus, Vivo, Oppo, IQ, etc. have already introduced. However, the phone's back is attractive. Following the recent lead of Chinese Android premium flagships like the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, Oppo Find X6 Pro, or Vivo X90 Pro Plus, the Realme 11 Pro Plus has a circular camera module on its back that is covered in vegan leather. The phone is available in two colors. Green my unit, which resembles white but is actually called Sunrise Beige. Full leather is used for the back of the phone in both hues, however only the beige version has faint stitching that goes down the middle of the device. The Realme 11 Pro Plus sports an in-hand feel comparable to the OnePlus 11, but with a grippier leather back and less weight, making it more pleasant overall. The smartphone has a triple camera system that consists of a passable 8 megapixels ultra-wide and a useless 2 megapixels macro sensor. However, the main camera, a 200 megapixels shooter with a Samsung Isis LHP3 sensor, is undoubtedly the star of the show. The Isis LHP3 is not a superior sensor than the HP2 found in the Galaxy S23 Ultra, despite having a newer higher model number. However, it appears the Samsung and Realme collaborated extensively to enhance the sensor for the phone. To talk at the Realme event, a representative from Samsung's imaging team actually flew in from Seoul. The HP3 sensor can capture images with a resolution of 16320 by 12240 pixels, and has a 1 per 1.4 inch sensor size, which is relatively large for a mid-range phone. The sensor will use 16 in 1 pixel binning to provide a 12.5 megapixels image, when taking normal pictures at a 1x focal length. However, Realme also advertises optical zoom quality via in-sensor crop at the 2x and 4x focal lengths. Realme was eager to point out at the event that no one else is currently offering a 4x in sensor zoom. So, how do the pictures appear? Very good. Following a typical photo in the series below are zoom photos taken at 2x or 4x. These in sensor crop zoom images are surprisingly crisp, given that this phone lacks a physical zoom lens. In order to demonstrate that its 4x in sensor crop is somewhat clearer than the iPhone 14 Pro's 4x zoom images, which are a hybrid zoom using data from a specialized 3x telephoto lens, Realme really built up a photo booth. Naturally, in-sensor crops require sufficient lighting to appear lossless. As a result, when I took the 4x zoom images below at night, the image quality slightly decreased, but these are still fairly good, given that the phone is in a reasonably priced mid-range price bracket. How does Samsung's own Galaxy S23 Ultra, which uses an HP2 sensor, compare to Realme 11 Pro Plus's HP3 sensor? Considering that the HP2 sensor has a larger sensor size and can capture more light, Samsung's photographs are a little bit brighter and have more vibrant colors. However, I took the shots below at full 200 megapixels quality, and they show how close the image sharpness is on the Realme NS23 Ultra. Given that the Realme 11 Pro Plus is about 4 times as expensive as the Galaxy S23 Ultra, I'd say the latter held up extremely well. As I previously stated, I will abide by Realme's request that I refrain from discussing the phone's chipset, battery size, or potential for extremely quick charging. But you can find all of this information by performing a Google search. At least I can claim that the Realme 11 Pro Plus is another mid-range Chinese phone that performs significantly better than its price range. 
the phone will first go on sale in India, before gradually making its way to Europe and other Southeast Asian nations, where Realme has a significant presence, such as Singapore and Malaysia. The good news for Americans is that this phone is inexpensive enough to import without spending a lot of money. At the very least, since that is how I now use it, it will function on T-Mobile. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it is useful for you, have a nice day and good luck.